Hello, this is a review of the Flick 2 switch, particularly as it applies to LifeX lights. Uh, I've been using Alexa and the app to control the LifeX lights, but it's nice to have something that just will take a preset scene, do it with a push of a button, and get things going. I had some Logitech pop buttons that I was using, and they were okay, uh, but the app stopped working for iOS, so it looks like those buttons aren't being supported anymore. So about six months ago, I ordered these things on the Kickstarter, and they've arrived, set them up, they're looking pretty good. If I'd have known about the LifeX switches themselves coming along, I probably would have ordered a few less. So at the moment I have some over the switches, but the, the, the Flick 2 buttons are still useful for things where you're away from where you might want to put the LifeX switch later. They're pretty handy, single click, really fast, talk on the LAN protocol, you can assign them several things to do. So they work pretty well, I've been quite happy with them. So I'm here in the Flick 2 app. You can have different hubs which can connect to different buttons. I'm not using Bluetooth, I'm going in via the hub. Each hub can talk to 64 buttons, I believe. So if I connect to my hub, I get a list of my buttons. Now, the buttons aren't sorted alphabetically, you can't change the images, you can't resequence the buttons, so it's mildly annoying, especially if you have more than a few buttons. But once the app is set up, you're basically just using the button, so these minor annoyances don't matter much. If I pick one of these buttons, for example, the kitchen door, we can have actions on click, double click and hold and each of these can for example on that double click there's a mix of cloud and local network actions these are if I can add any of these things multiple of these things to the different actions these are all the ones that the hub supports as opposed to Bluetooth on the LifeX side of interest is the cloud and the local network local network one is much faster but has less functionality and the cloud side of things can do a little more but works a little slower we have a look at the local network you can see again the UI is a bit untidy but it doesn't really matter once set up you can go down to the bottom you can pick one of your lights go to the color picker down the bottom there the red and then you can for example pick white pick a warmth pick brightness and you're done and that's really it for local network and it's very fast LifeX cloud on the other hand if we select that you can go in there and you can select hierarchies and rooms more easily. So like there's entrance up or the whole home. Of interest to me was that one can pick scenes in here though. Uh, there's the normal color picker at the bottom if you just pick a bulb. On the scene side of things, you can pick any of the scenes that you have. And uh, the important thing for me about scenes was that they can run over a period of time. So that double click I use that in the mornings, comes in, turns on this kitchen day scene, which turns on the lights over two minutes. So when I come in in the morning, I don't get all of the lights. I've got four strips and four down lights, and they're all turning on immediately, which is quite bright. They turn on over two minutes, bit of a gentle start to the day, uh, and I was looking for those scenes. So I was, that, that's something the Logitech buttons couldn't do. If I go to this adult bedtime button, that particular scene there turns off the adult side of the house. If I click that over 15 minutes, so like a nice gentle wind down, leaves all the lights on on the kids' side of the house so they can go and find food and do teenage things. But my side of the house, everything just turns off. One button press, all the lights on that side of the house turn off over a quarter of an hour. So yeah, there's the app. Uh, a few little untidinesses, but it doesn't really matter, as I say, because once they're all set up, you're basically just using the button. Nice tactile buttons, nice click, nice double click, easy to place them, little LEDs to tell you what's happening, so that's all pretty good. So I've got a button under here, if I click that once, the strip light under here turns on, if I double click, uh, it turns on all the lights, so the down lights on the roof and the extra strip lights. Um, if I double tap again, it'll turn those off, and long click turns everything off. 